Hello, Bob. Nice to see you, Swinson. This storm really chaps my hide. I just can't calm down. And you, don't forget that you can change your baby. We all have favorite games from our young past. Playing those relics makes us appreciate the time when entertainment and art had more focus than profit and brand power. But even if you have the discs or cartridges, running old games in modern times can be a hassle. Of course, publishers can remaster those games and release them to work with newer hardware. Remasters can be introduced to new players so their legacy can live on. Usually, a fresh coat of paint and quality of life futures can make them even more enjoyable. Here's some remastered FPS games. One title is missing, don't you think? That's right, neither its software nor Bethesda have ever remastered Wolfenstein 3D. Not even Night Dive got their hands on it. I get it, it might not be as important as Doom or ground shaking like Quake. But come on, this is Wolf 3D, known as the granddaddy of FPS games? Is this how you treat the elderly? The franchise has been alive for decades by now. Luckily, there are some ways to play Wolf 3D on modern systems. In this video, I'll be showing you the few source ports for running the game. Unless you have an old computer that runs DOS natively, DOSBox is the purest way to play Wolf 3D. The game might run poorly at first launch, and you have to change some settings to get better frame rates. But once this is done, then you can appreciate its classic gameplay. Wolf 3D could be played with mouse and keyboard, just like in Doom, but there are differences. First of all, you have to hold the key to strafe. The mouse is only used for movement, so forget about circle strafing, though you don't need it anyway. By the way, in DOSBox, you can play it with the original PC speaker sound effects. Hmm, just like 1992. Bialzat 3's EC Wolf is the most popular Wolf 3D source port. It pulls a substantial amount of code from the ZDoom source port and aims to provide a wide array of mod editing capabilities without the need to modify the port itself. The source port provides many useful features. For instance, it has support for widescreen resolutions, making the sprite art look much better. Control binding is easier and game controls are smoother. The unlimited save slots feature is great, especially if you're a save scummer. Wolfenstein 3D can get monotonous and repetitive easily because of its level design. You often find yourself opening the same grey doors, running in similar narrow corridors, looking around for keys. It's easy to feel you're running in circles. Lucky for you, EC Wolf has an auto map, similar to one in Rise of the Triad, which uses an upgraded Wolf 3D engine. I can't stress enough on how helpful it is for finding secrets and finding your way through those goddamn Nazi mazes. It is stated that support for even more Wolfenstein engine games, such as Blakestone, 
is planned for the future. Overall, EC Wolf is easy to use, and it's a great way to start up Wolf 3D and mow down Nazis with ease. Developed by Linux Wolf, LZ Wolf is a fork of EC Wolf. It was designed for mothers to create their own projects and games by using the source port's additional modding capabilities. It looks quite similar to EC Wolf, but if you heard of some Wolf 3D mods, you probably need this one to play them. Unfortunately, it's announced that LZ Wolf's development has been discontinued in March 2023. However, the source port works fine, and there are some interesting mods to try out, such as Coming Off the Storm and Wolf 3D HD. Wolfenstein 3D 30th Anniversary Edition is a fan-made source port and an expansion pack for Wolf 3D, released on May 5th, 2022. First thing first, Anniversary Edition includes 3 new episodes and you can play them without having the original game. It also has an extra difficulty named No One Shall Live. Basically, I'm dead incarnate with permadeath. You're not allowed to save or load either. No matter how good you are at Wolf 3D, even a basic ass guard can kill you and you're run. So be warned. Let's talk about the new levels. They're not bad, but not memorable either. Yet they are designed much better than levels in those ugly Spear of Destiny expansion packs. Some of the new sprites look alright except those green mucus ones. I won't spoil the bosses, but don't expect to have something goofy like Mecha Angel of Death. Anniversary Edition also comes with an auto map, but it's not as good as EC Wolf. But wait, there's more. This pack does bring two new weapons. Technically, they already existed in some ports such as SNES, but it's nice to have them on PC. First one, the Flame Tower, works similar to ones that the fake Hitlers have. You can burn Nazis into crisp, though sadly, they don't flail around and scream like you may be used to. The other weapon is the rocket launcher, the one wielded by 4th episode's boss, Otto Giftmacher. It deals good damage and, well this is the closest you'll get to Jibs here. It's a shame that both of these have not been brutalized. While there are no true explosions in Wolf 3D, you can still deal splash damage to yourself. You don't have to play the new episodes to get these weapons. Both of them can be found in the main game now, if you do some secret hunting. In Wolfenstein The New Order and Old Blood, you can sleep in certain beds to have Wolf 3D like nightmare sessions. These graphics sure are realistic. Feel like I'm inside the game. But in New Colossus, the entire original Wolf 3D could be played, kind of. If the name was too subtle to you, Wolfstone is the mirror version of Wolfenstein. Hands. Are we the baddies? Yes, you play as a Nazi spy. Otherwise, gameplay is the same. All Nazi imagery is replaced. Enemies now curse in dastardly English. Russia. 
Marian. Instead of Hitler, the third episode features a fight against B.J. Blaskowitz. Mutants are still terrible though. Fuck these things. I personally wouldn't play the entire game all over again in another game, but you might think otherwise. There you have it. Though Wolfenstein 3D is a bit older than Doom, it never grew as a huge modding community, so I wanted to show off some of what we do have. I hope you enjoyed this video and learned something new. Links of the source ports, mods and guides can be found in the description below. Thanks for watching and take care.